What's going on, y'all? So lit. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> I'm really not about to be on here long, okay? Because it's really only two big stories that happened. The Jesse Smollett and the, um, you know, whole thing with the Kardashians. I really don't care for the Kardashians, but this Jesse Smollett shirt, I kept my piece and my tongue on it. I bit my tongue because I wanted to see some more things come out. And to be quite honest, I feel like we, I mean, they put a lot out today. Okay, but I also feel like some more stuff is coming out. I don't feel like the story is done. Of course, it's not done because they're going to go to trial and all this stuff. But, um, yeah, before we get into that, it's just, first of all, how y'all doing? I hope all is well. You know, hope your week was doing good. I'm giving y'all this because tomorrow is my day off, baby. And I ain't doing shit but love at the lockup, okay? Girl, okay? Um, It ain't really been nothing much going on. So, that I care to speak on. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if I mentioned it last week, but R. Kelly got a whole new... Uh, allegedly got another sex tape out with another 14-year-old girl. There you go. Um, They said it might possibly be a third tape. I'm not surprised. They are going to indict him. They're looking to indict him. So, y'all ain't got to worry about that. And quit putting out the, oh, Chicago, you know, um, they got Jesse way before they got R. Kelly. Because R. Kelly wasn't dumb enough to go to, R. Kelly didn't go to the cops, okay? That's what it was, all right? Nobody snitched on R. Kelly. That's what it was, all right? Um, Jesse, he took his ass to the cops to try to cover up his tracks. We'll get on that in a second, okay? Stop comparing and contrasting this whole stuff. And then, you know, out here in Chicago, they talking about, uh, we'll get on that. Um, the whole thing with, um, <clears throat> well, you know, this case in Chicago didn't get this much, um, attention, but the Jesse Smollett case did, and this certain case of these people didn't get this much attention you know exactly why this got as much attention as it got because it's jesse smollett technically speaking he's a goddamn celebrity so therefore they're going to put all their resources in this because he's so-called an important person okay little people don't get that much attention if that's the case every freaking case of somebody missing somebody getting hit with gun violence dying by gun violence and you know all these other traumatic and um fucked up shit would have been hit the news each and every time and it would be national news but because he's a so-called celebrity and i'm saying this so-called because whoo child i don't know how long he got in the business now okay um that's why it became so big okay celebrities get the more attention because it's already a lot of spotlight on them so that's why um so quick comparing and contrasting these cases like that even though i feel like yes these other cases that have been out, they do deserve equal amount of attention. And maybe if they did have those equal amount of attention, shit would have been solved by now. Things would have happened by now. But that's the reason why. That's the main reason why. You know, amongst other things that we all can name. Okay? But, um, skin tone. But moving on from that. Um, speaking of, so I read about, where is it? I'm trying to find it. Baby, they are. There's a documentary about Lorena Bobby. Let me tell y'all this. <laughs> Girl, we used to hear the jokes and all that stuff when I was a kid when the shit happened. Girl, I think this other documentary um that they put on TV that they was detailing the case of why she did what she did. And mama was fed the fuck up and she was in a messed up position. So, baby, I understand. And he was out here afterwards. They reattached that thing and he went on to do porn, girl. I was sitting here like, it works enough. I bet you it looked mangled and shit. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, It was a grade school kid. I'm trying to find out what grade school he was in. Oh, Jesus. Damn. The boy that, um. I can't remember. Sixth grade. There you go. He was arrested because he said he wasn't going to say the Pledge of Allegiance because the Pledge of Allegiance was racist. Okay. And um, they're arresting him because he wouldn't stand up and uh, say the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't remember where this was at, but you, that shouldn't even be a law. I don't even understand how that happened because there are, especially if it's for religious reasons as well, you have the right 
you have the right to say that uh, Pledge of Allegiance if you want to. Uh, that's freedom of speech, you know, freedom of protest, all that stuff. And they just violated all his rights, okay? Because when I was growing up, I never said the Pledge of Allegiance because of my religious belief, because of the religion that I was born into. I was Jehovah's Witnesses. We don't do that, okay? So that was that. And I never got chastised. I never got looked at funny. I was never said, oh, told if you don't do this, um, well, you know, you're going to go to the office and we're going to call your parents and nothing of that such. All I had to do was say, you know, Jehovah's Witness is against our religion. We can't participate in this. So therefore, I can't say the Pledge of Allegiance and stuff like that. Not knowing what it meant. OK, but that's just the religion. And that's what was told to me because my parents was in the um, religion and that's what it was. But. I've never heard of somebody getting arrested just for not saying the Pledge of Allegiance. It's a lot of people that don't believe in that, that, you know, have different belief systems and, you know, the religious beliefs as well and political and stuff like that. And they don't, they don't go for everything that, you know, society deems normal and what you should be doing. Okay. And people need to understand that y'all violated this boy's right. And he's six in the sixth grade. Okay. In the sixth goddamn grade. What is that? 12, 12, 11, 12 years old. What are you going to charge him with? Are you serious? That's fucked up. And I was sue the school. I was sue the school. I really would. And depending on where it is, the school probably win, you know, but I, I just found that disheartening. It just fucked up. Um, Moving on from that, y'all tell me how y'all felt about that. Um, Soldier Boy was dating Black China for a couple of weeks. Soldier Boy has moved on. There you go. Moving on from that, speaking of Black China, and I'm just going off of what you guys put on my community page on YouTube, and this is what y'all told me. The main stories was Jussie. And the Kardashian. And to be quite honest, I don't feel like there are anything else that's going on. Um, oh, yeah, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Bernie Sanders said he running for president again. Put down in the comments, how do you guys, those of your political, if you want to put your political um, parties on the in the comments as well, you could do that. This is a free space. You know, you're not going to get, you know, trumped upon, um, jumped upon, trumped upon or whatever. Um, but how do you feel so far about the candidates on either side coming out? I mean, who do you feel strongly about? Um, are you taking any of them serious? You know, because I asked that question on my Twitter the other day and a lot of people was just saying there's way too many people right now. Some of them are not even thinking about it until 2020, um, till they wind them down. And some people just don't feel like they found that one, you know? So y'all put that down in the comments. I know Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, now we got Bernie Sanders. There's a possibility that Joe Biden might be running again, but who knows? And speaking of Joe Biden in 44, okay, Obama, you know, Obama out here stunning. But that's one story I want to talk about right quick. So they got um, a paparazzi photo of Malia. You know, she's 20 years old. The legal drinking age is 21 and they got her on vacation, I believe, and she had a bottle of rosé or she was about to, uh, you know, drink some little fake-ass wine or whatever the fuck. It probably wasn't fake because it's them. But who cares? Um, am I condoning underage drinking? No. But the way that, and the fact that she's supposed to have this fake, uh, secret Facebook page or whatever, and she put on there that she don't like Donald Trump. Okay, she's being a regular human being. And she's being a regular human being, and she, of all people, has a reason not to, um, you know, dislike this man or whatever. So, it is what it is. And, you know, her coming out, and they find these fit photos of her, and she's, you know, have a little cup of wine or whatever. That little 2% alcohol up in that goddamn bottle that it was. Like, come on, y'all tripping and doing the most damn, knowing damn well that your kids out here drinking and probably been drinking since they was probably 14 years old, okay? A lot of us, and I'm like I said, I'm not condoning, but I'm not surprised and I'm not going to jump down her back, especially given the fact that she's 20 years old. The girl is about to be 21. Um, she ain't out here. You don't see no stories about her being a sloppy ass drunk and doing all this other stuff. And I'm pretty sure that it's other kids that's been in the White House that done way worse than what she's doing. Okay. 
and you yourself, the people that's trying to, you know, uh, call her out on it. I'm pretty sure if you go back to your past, you did not wait until you was 21 to take your first step of anything. Okay. Because I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I did. Bitch, no. I was 16. Okay. Probably 15. First time I, no, I, I took my first step at 15 and I, first time I got drunk as fuck when I was 16 years old at a sleepover. Slumber party, girls night sleepover that we was having at the school, bitch, okay? And, um, no shade. My uncle brought the liquor, may he rest in peace, okay? He brought the liquor for us and we just did what we had to do, okay? And we was responsible with it too, but it is what it is, okay? I didn't even go sit up here and lie, get the fuck. But we was drinking hard liquor, bitch. Vodka, okay? I remember it was Smirnoff, Green Apple. Girl, <laughs> it was a time. It was a time, okay? I was like, this how you feel to get drunk? Oh, my God. I feel so girl. Girl, we thought we were something. We thought we were something. Anyway, moving on from that, leave that girl alone. She's a private citizen just like us. Leave her alone, okay? Moving on. Um, This Kim Kardashian shit. Not Kim Car Kim Kardashian mad at the designers. I think Fashion Nova and them for so called ripping off her designs and you know they've been ripping off my husband's designs and all this other stuff. Girl, the same way you and your family do too to other designers and shit. Kylie did that to another designer, to a black designer. Okay, cut the bullshit. We not here for the little crime. Okay, and speaking of Kylie, girl, let's just go there. Okay. Let's just go there. <laughs> you see, I'm getting a little insignificance out the way leading up to the big story, right? All right. Because that's what y'all here for. I want y'all to watch the whole video. Y'all see what I be doing. But anyway, this whole thing with Kylie, Chloe, Jordan Woods, and Tristan Thompson. Girl, this uh, quadruple of a fuckery. I... <sighs> I just don't understand. Niggas, y'all are dumb as shit. And bitches, y'all stupid as fuck too. These two stories, it's like, you can't tell me you get really this dumb. Okay, that is the thing for these two next, the last two stories. You can't tell me that you are really this dumb. Especially in this case too. Okay, you have Tristan Thompson who already been caught on camera cheating on Khloe Kardashian while she was pregnant. Okay, being accused once again of cheating, not with somebody else that the family don't know, but with somebody so damn close to the family, they consider them like sister, like another sister, okay? This girl, Jordan Woods, supposedly been Kylie's best friend for years, okay? For years. So close to the family, she's like part of the family, you know? And rumors came out the other day, trying to say a couple of days ago, saying that, you know, he at some type of party or whatever house party. Jordan was there. They was hugged up. They was kissing. She didn't leave until seven o'clock and she was with him and seven o'clock in the morning. They took the phones and all that stuff. Jason, they he tried to put out a tweet talking about some fake news and all that stuff. But then he deleted the shit. Then all of a sudden, here comes um Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked and said, Yeah, it was a party that went down. Yeah, Tristan did take the phone, but they everything that was said happened because he had one of his people there and they saw everything go down. Well, for the most part, the fact that they was hugged up, they was kissing, they was doing all that shit, allegedly. You know. Um and you see Malika, Chloe, and um Scotty Pippa and Larsa commenting almost like in agreement and stuff like that, like they knew that it was confirmed that this is true underneath the post. I was like, Oh shit. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, are we really surprised? But it feels stupid. Like, why would you go and fuck around with somebody? See, niggas are so stupid. And the bitches that's involved are dumb as hell, too. Why would you fuck around? I, I wouldn't be able to trust that hoe. I wouldn't be able to trust her. I wouldn't be able to trust somebody who will fuck my best friend. Okay? You are this close to me. And you gonna go and fuck my sister's best friend who you see all the time. No, see, I wouldn't be able to do no shit like that. Allegedly, okay? But Khloe Kardashian went out, did a little press conference, a little appearance or whatever. Then the next day she posts some shit on her Instagram or Instagram story about being sad and people hurting you and all this stuff and crying. I was like, oh, okay, so I guess it is true. Um... 
It just don't make sense. Why are y'all so stupid like this? Somebody said this was Chris Jenner set this shit up. <laughs> so they they can see if he'll take the bait and he took the bait back going after Jordan. I don't like you fucked yourself up too. Like Jordan, you you shiesty as shit, bitch. Okay. And Tristan, once a cheater, always a cheater. Now you we wanna dismiss that and we wanna disprove that uh saying, but you proving that that saying is somewhat true for some people, okay? And for you, that's what it is. You cheated on your baby mama, you cheated on both your baby mamas, and um now you're doing it again, okay? And it just kills me how these people be so public, especially like with these public ass people, uh, families and all this stuff that's always constantly in the media. Why would you risk it? They gonna come and find all the information. They looking for anything to laugh at, to make jokes about. Baby, they gonna do all this shit. They gonna uncover every, your darkest, deepest secret, baby. Okay, why would you do some stupid shit like that? But, <sighs> some people say you get them, you lose them how you get them. So, hey, it is what it is. I'm not saying karma. I don't, I don't wanna wish that on nobody, but, do I feel bad? No, because I would have left his ass the first time I found out he cheated. But then again, she stayed with, um, that's just her nature because she stayed, Khloe Kardashian stayed with Lamar Odom and he was cheating and cheating and cheating on her ass. Like, you know, but y'all tell me how y'all felt about that. Moving on to the main event. I have to put a, I have to put a little smirk on my face because it's not funny to hide how disappointed I am in this story. Okay. I'm a fan of Empire. I'm a fan or was it? Uh, I don't, I was a fan of Jesse Smollett. Now after this, I'm not on a, he canceled, but I'm just not giving him that much energy like I used to because I feel like it's some more to this story. I don't think that we have it all figured out. I don't think that we have heard everything. I'm waiting and hoping that he does come out and say something because at this point, that's what people are waiting on or that's what I'm waiting on because I need to hear your side out of your mouth, okay? Um, because this is not making sense to me and it's not making sense to a lot of us. The story is confusing as fuck. It's so many things that came out, so... June 29th, out here in Chicago at 2 o'clock in the morning, um, jo jo Jesse Smollett, Jamal from Empire, he got attacked, okay? And he said it was racially motivated, and also it was a hate crime um, and homophobic, hom homophobically motivated as well. So it was a hate crime. They said that the two assailants was dressed in ski masks and all black and all that couldn't really see who they were um and because he said MAGA they said that they said MAGA this is MAGA country and um you know they called him a uh, the f word and you know called him an n word and all that stuff hollered out hey you and that that n word from empire you know <sighs> That's what made everybody believe that the assailants had to be white, okay? MAGA, white. I mean, we do got a little sprinkle of black here and there, but MAGA, white. That's what you automatically assume. So, I guess that's what he wanted us to think. And it comes out that there were some brothers or whatever that were Nigerian. Not the light-skinned Nigerian, but dark-skinned Nigerians, okay? That were born and raised here, um... And they were the ones who were the actual people that attacked him. Now, he said he was coming out of his hotel at 2 o'clock in the morning. His plane got delayed the day before, so he had just got back from O'Hare. He was hungry. He was going to the subway. I said, hmm, I got to check and see if it's a subway over there that's open 24 hours. But my thing of it is, how come you just couldn't order rooms? This, see, let me tell you something. I didn't think about this until after all this stuff started coming out. Because, baby, like I said, I have questions. I was one of the ones that was not going to sit here and be like, as soon as it happened, oh, this a hoax, this a hoax, this a hoax, this a hoax. You know, he lying or whatever. He was trying to go get some dick and all that shit. Or, you know, he got into it with somebody else over some dick and all that stuff. Because that's what was being put out there. I was like, no, I believe him. Okay, uh, <clears throat> somebody 
doing homophobic and racial shit. I, 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 why would he lie about that? Why would he lie about that? Me being blinded, I don't know, just wasn't really thinking everything through. And a part of me still wants to believe and hold out hope that maybe he does have evidence that this is a lie that they put out there and said that he was lying. Maybe he has evidence showing that, yes, this really did happen to him. Okay? I don't know. Like, a small part of me is still trying to figure that out. But anyway, I was like, so you go to Subway. Then I seen another report. They said he was going to a Walgreens. The Walgreens made it more logical and plausible because I know out here in Chicago, there are a lot of 24-hour Walgreens. Okay, that's one. Um, But then Subway, I was like, okay, so you finna get you something to eat. But then again, you could have got room service. But then again, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. So, eh, okay. But then again, some hotels do be open at late. So I was just, you know, thinking about this, but okay, you want to go out, stretch your legs. But see, January 29th was right around the time, I think it happened January 30th and the 31st, where we was getting that polar vortex. Wasn't really nobody outside, okay? One really the, the streets of Chicago was fucking clear, okay? There was nobody outside, all right? So that's one thing. So how long, it's extra, extra, extra cold outside, how long were they standing outside waiting on him? That's another thing that I was thinking about, okay? Well, I just let that go. Um, to be getting... So, how long... How did you know that he was going to be coming out of his apartment or his place, his hotel, wherever he was, at 2 o'clock in the morning? How long were you staying out there? See, I didn't think of these things, okay? So, at this point... He goes to the cops. He takes himself to the hospital. I didn't know Frank Gaston was his um what choreographer, manager, or something like that. Take him to the hospital. He called the cops and all that. Jesse does talk to the cops. They said that the um cops have this confrontation, not a confrontation, but this uh conversation because on their video cam, on their vest, okay. But he asked for them to turn the camera off. I was like, what? Now, this is all the details that's coming out because, baby, they, 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 they didn't caught up with the boy. Then they said, you know, um, he didn't want to release his phone, okay? When I heard that, that's when the wheels in my head originally started turning like, why don't you want to hand over your phone? What is in your phone? Mm, okay, maybe you got some important numbers in there. You don't want to leak to the press or whatever. And, you know, because sometimes the Chicago PD, we ain't the best. Okay, so cricket shit that be going on. So, people doubt the cops. I understand that. Moving on from that, we don't hear nothing. We don't hear nothing for like a week or two. And then all of a sudden, Jesse gets up here with Robin Roberts on Good Morning America and does this whole interview I watched part of the interview and I just was like, hmm, okay. You know, he got me with the tears and stuff. And I was just like, all right, it is what it is. You know, this happened. I want them to find the people who did it. And that's when I think the following week after that, that's when it came out that the people who are suspect were these two Nigerian brothers who he knew. And he worked with one of them, um, a couple of, both of them at one point, you know. And one was a body double, a stand-in for the boy that played Kai, his boyfriend on Empire. I said, what the fuck is going on? And then everything just started coming on out, allegedly. They said they had them two brothers in custody. Then they released him, they released them with no charges, okay? They caught their asses at the airport. They had went to Nigeria for two weeks. Then they came back on February 13th, and I guess they thought within that two weeks, all this stuff would have been died down by now. But no, no. You forgot the power of the internet and the fact that you didn't put out rhetoric and stuff saying that you anti-Trump and F-Trump and all this stuff. And, you know, so of course, MAGA going to have a field day with this. I'm just sitting here like, oh. All right, we trying to figure this all out ourselves. It's just confusing because each and every day, it was little information leaking, 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 and we all sitting here like, what is, how 
I just don't believe that he would do something like this. This cannot be made up. What would be the reason for him to make something up like this? It would be detrimental to his own career, okay? For attention, you got that attention. People know you. We know you out here in Chicago. We know uh, people know you on a national scale for Empire and for the um, the guest stars that you had up in um, certain movies or whatever. We know you. What is it that you're doing this for? Why would you... Risk your career. Why would you lie and fuck up your careers and your uh, opportunities and stuff like that and make people look at you sideways? So that's why I kept on being like, no, he can't be this dumb to do some shit like this because it's not going to end well. I mean, you have to think out everything. And I just feel like he would have been the type of person that would have thought out everything and been like the long term and the short term. Now, on the short term, if I was to do this, this could happen. But on the long term, long term. It can really fuck me over. And you have to weigh the pros and cons. I'm thinking he the type of person that's logical like that. So I'm like, no, he can't do this. He can't do that. Everybody else like, girl, it's a hoax. I'm sitting here like, until he come out and they charge him with something, bitch, I ain't believing shit. Well, shut my motherfucking mouth up because, bitch, they charged that man with um disorderly conduct, um filing a false police arrest um report. Girl, they did a whole press conference. Um, the brothers was there supposed to be talking to the grand jury. And then they said that right before the brothers were supposed to say something or whatever, um, Jesse's lawyers called in and, you know, offered some information or whatever, but it wasn't nothing new that they, that they haven't heard already. The brothers laid out the timeline, the brothers, there was video tapes, uh, surveillance tape of the brothers at a beauty supply store, getting ski masks, getting a red hat, and getting some other um, sunglasses and stuff like that. And then they said the bleach, it was originally supposed to be gasoline. So they turned around and said, let's do bleach. I said, wait a minute. So they put, today, um, the proffer came out. And it detailed every fucking thing. Okay? I mean, time, place, when the conversation happened, all this stuff now. I'm still thinking, yo, I just can't believe that this is true. Like, why would you destroy your career like this? But, baby, when they said that he sent, he wrote a personal fucking check and signed his goddamn name and gave it to them, $3,500, and said they was going to give him $500 after the shit was done. They practiced this the day before, and the attack was supposed to happen the day before, but his plane was delayed, so he didn't get in. That's why it happened at 2 o'clock in the morning the next day. I said, it is in our Lord, the year of our Lord, Jehovah, in 2019, okay, and you are still writing checks like this that can lead to a paper trail? Now, I know you didn't seen a whole bunch of movies, TV shows, okay, that you be seeing people doing stuff. They don't write checks. They don't leave paper trails. And if you do, that's how they be getting caught up. I said, a fucking personal check? No, what about Cash App, okay? What about Vimo? What about Cash? <laughs> what about Cash? Girl, I was just sitting here like, Justin, you cannot be, uh, you cannot, you gotta be, you, you can't be serious. You cannot be serious. I'm just sitting here like, no. Then I still was having a hard time believing it, okay? And um, they start. Oh, they met up in his apartment. They do. They don't. They wanted. He uh, supposedly wanted to do the attack outside his building where the camera was. It didn't happen that way. Didn't go as planned. But they had on surveillance cameras. The brothers leaving from the um um the the, the place where the attack happened, getting into a cab, going to their place, getting to their place, getting an Uber ride, all this other stuff. But no evidence and no video, I should say, video of the actual attack happening, which lasted apparently 45 minutes, 45 seconds, I should say. I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? Then they said um, they really didn't tussle him up that much and the uh, scratch on his face or whatever, that was self-inflicted. I'm sitting here like, what in the world? Why is this happening? No, I just, I, huh? Huh? You can't be serious. And then they said, bitch, I looked at um, when they was doing the press conference outside of um, the buying hearing and all that stuff. 
he turned himself in five o'clock this morning. Okay. And they was holding him till they did the little bond hearing at one thirty. Then the lady comes out, the prosecutor comes out, she's reading the proffer. She's reading everything. It's a fifteen minute video of her detailing every fucking thing. Bitch, they said they had text messages. They had cell phone tower records and stuff. I said, not the cell towers. Oh my and they had enough time to do this to get all this shit. Plus the FBI was in working for this stuff. And I'm just like, oh now I know CPD be crooked as fuck most times. But god damn when the FBI they crooked too sometimes. The FBI come out, what the fuck? That's all I could keep on thinking, like, why would you do this? Why would you do this? And then they said the alleged reason he did this was because he was dissatisfied with the pay that he was getting with his salary. Sir, you allegedly did all of this because you was not happy with the pay that you was getting. You mean to tell me that you couldn't open up your goddamn mouth and go to Lee Daniels or whoever the powers may be and, um... You know, ask about this and negotiate a contract increase, okay, um, a salary increase. Go to your agent, okay, go to your manager and have them discuss this like normal people do. You mean to tell me that you couldn't do that, but you thought that this was supposed to, um, you know, get you some attention and get you a pay increase or whatever. I don't know what's the point. It don't make sense. Till this day, that you even said out loud, it don't make sense any sense i'm not understanding okay because i can then they said he allegedly sent them death threats that he received a couple of weeks before to himself i feel jesse you allegedly did all this stuff why why? I'm still trying to figure out the why because it's not connecting to me. It's not connecting with me. Like, I'm firing off. I'm firing off. And it's just not, it's not, it's not connecting. I just don't understand. Like, it's not making any sense because I would never think somebody would be this dumb to bring, think of something like this. Not because of a pay dispute. And then Fox and Empire coming out saying that, you know, he was never finna get kicked off of, um Empire. Uh, they still writing scenes for him and all that shit. Now his scenes been d- reduced because of this. And he went right on back to work after he got um bonded out. He was um brought up for a hundred thousand dollars bond. That's ten percent, it's a hundred thousand. I mean ten thousand. Okay? So he probably out. I mean he he has that money right in there. I'm sitting there like and he went right back to work. I'm just like, so what was the point? <laughs> I'm just... Y'all, am I the only one that's so confused by this? I'm still like, I feel like it's holes left out that we don't know. And that's why I want Jesse to come out and to say something and fill us in the blank. Okay? Counteract this or, you know, rebut this. Because, baby, I am so confused still. This does nothing with my man. I said I shouldn't. Uh, if it is really true that all of this is a lie that he concocted, I'm not going to say that this man set us back, set all black people back, because he don't represent all black folks, and he does not represent all LGBT folks. But you put a stain on us, okay? You got people looking funny at us now, okay? Because they can you in this political Oh my God, in this political climate, knowing how Trump is, knowing how his followers are, they're going to use this as an example to make their points and stuff like this. Uh, uh, It's just a lot. It's just a lot of stupidity that's going around the whole way. And I just don't understand what would be the gain from it. What would be the benefit from it? You obviously, if this all is allegedly true, you did not think this stuff out. You thought about the short term. And to be quite honest, I can't even think of what the short term results were in his head that he thought that he would accomplish out of this. You get attention. Who's to say that you was going to get a raise from this? Okay. Um, Sympathy. That's what you wanted. Like, you got so many people out here that was ready to go to fucking go off for your ass. And you allegedly plant this whole shit. But yet, 
bitch, if I know I ain't do it, I would have been like, okay, so I was here at this moment, I was here at this moment, and this is why I didn't do this, this is why I didn't do that, why would I do this, okay? Pa, 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 pa. Bitch, I just, y'all, <laughs> I don't know what else there is to say because, at this point, I don't even think there is anything else to say until Justin comes out and say something himself. All right. Um, do I feel he needs to go to jail for lying? Not necessarily. But I do feel like he probably pay a fine or some shit or probably get a little probation. Didn't come to find out back in 2007, Justin lied to the cops about who the fuck he was. Uh, when he got a DUI and had got two years probation for that. I said, oh, so you just a lying motherfucker. Listen, it's just a lot. It's just a lot, y'all. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this Jesse situation. Um, I can understand that people still don't believe it because, like I said, I'm confused. I'm confused. This didn't clear up nothing for me. It just made it, made, because, uh, why would you do this? Why? And then a timeline. Oh, a negative degree weather. You uh, who is outside? No. Okay, okay. It is what it is. I'm gonna tell y'all. Let this. Do not let this take away from the fact that there are hate crimes that do happen in this country. Okay, because of people, political, you know, um, parties. Because of the color of their skin. Because of the sexual orientation. There are hate crimes that happen. Okay? And there have been hate crimes that's been happening all the way since slavery. Alright? And a lot of them people got away with that shit too. Okay? But, um, and most of them were the opposite color of me. On the lighter scale. Okay? And... It is what it is. I don't know if they're going to try to make an example out of uh, Jussie, but y'all tell me how you guys feel, and I will see you guys later. About to go watch How to Get Away Murder. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. I'll see y'all later, y'all. Peace.